Good morning everyone, how are you doing? It's Paul here from Unusual Things. Now today I'm in St Gregory's Churchyard in Weir. Ooh, as I get one of those in the face. Um, in the Somerset sort of region, you know, down the southwest. Um, can't really do that accent, I'm not going to try because it'll always come out wrong. But today we are here to find the final resting place and the grave of Frankie Howard. Do you remember him? Great um, comedian. He was in um, lots of Carry On films as well. He was also um, an actor in his own right with things like Up Pompeii, some great comedy sketches. So I will tell you a bit more about him soon. Now I've just bumped into an architect and a, a builder, I'm thinking he was, who are doing work, or he might have been another architect himself, I don't know, uh, who are doing some, art, uh, doing some work on that church here. And it's, um, it's a beautiful little place. Obviously can't go in there because they're doing work on it. But um, might be able to have a little sneak peek through the window or something like that. Don't forget if you like today's video, give it a thumbs up for me. And I will tell you some more information now on Frankie Howard. Francis Alec Howard, OBE, 6th of March 1917 to the 19th of April 1992 better known by his stage name, Frankie Howard, he was an English actor and comedian. Howard was born the son of soldier Francis Alfred William and Edith Florence Howard at the City Hospital in York in 1917. His first stage appearance was at age 13, but his early hopes of becoming a serious actor were dashed when he failed an audition for the Royal Academy of Dramatic Art. He began to entertain during World War II during service in the British Army. It was at this time that he adapted the surname to Howard to be different. In 1944, he became a bombardier in Plymouth. He was promoted to sergeant and on the 6th of June 1944 was part of the D-Day effort, but was stuck on a boat of Normandy. Why can I imagine that happening to Frankie Howard? <laughs> Despite suffering from stage fright, he continued to work after the war, beginning his professional career in the summer of 1946 in a touring show called For the Fun of It. His act was soon heard on radio when he made his debut in early December 1946 on the BBC's variety bandbox programme with a number of other ex-servicemen. His profile rose in the immediate post-war period, aided with material written by Eric Seitz, Galton and Simpson and Johnny Spate. He then toured the music hall circuit with an act including what became his standard catchphrases such as titty ye not, but he also became a regular in 1950s edition of the weekly hard copy comic film fun. During the 1960s and 70s, he was involved in shows for the BBC and Thames Television, as well as Frankie Howard Reveals All for Yorkshire Television in 1980. Ray Galton and Alan Simpson wrote for him from 1964 to 1966 when he worked for the BBC and also for a one-off show for Thames, Frankie Howard Meets the Bee Gees as shown on the 20th of August, 1968. He was known for his seemingly off-the-cuff remarks to the audience, especially in the show Up Pompeii, 1969-1970, which was a direct follow-up from Forum. His television work was characterised by direct addresses to the camera and by his littering monologues with verbal tics such as Ooh no, missus, and titty ye not. A later sale of his scripts, however, showed that the seemingly off-the-cuff remarks had all been meticulously planned. Barry Cryer said of his technique, what he could do with a script was amazing, like all the great performers. Howard appeared as Francis Bigger in one of the lead characters in the 1967's Carry On Doctor, of which the variety noted added zest is given by the inclusion of Frankie Howard as a quick mind over matter doctor who becomes a reluctant patient. Howard's brilliantly droll sense of comedy is given plenty of scope. The success of the film version of Up Pompeii in 1971 saw British exhibitors vote him the ninth most popular star at the British box office that year. He would play versions of the character Lurkio in Up the Chastity Bout, also in 1971, and Up the Front in 1972. In 1971, Howard recorded with June Whitfield a comedy version of the song Jet Le Aim, previously recorded by Jane Birkin and Serge Gainsbourg, in which she featured as Mavis alongside Howard's Frank and a third unexplained sleeping partner named Arthur. The song was included in the 2004 CD reissue of Oh, A Carry On. He was awarded an OBE in 1977. Throughout his career, Howard hid his potentially career-destroying homosexuality from both his audience and his mother, Edith. In 1958, he met Samilia, 
Dennis Hamer at the Dorchester Hotel while dining with Sir John Mills. Howard was 40 and Hamer was 28. Hamer became his lover as well as his manager and stayed with him for more than 30 years until Howard's death, with Hamer helping to retrieve Howard's flagging career in the 1960s. Having contracted a virus during a Christmas trip to the Amazon in 1991, Howard suffered respiratory problems at the beginning of April 1992 and was taken to a clinic in London's Harley Street, but was discharged at Easter. He collapsed and died of a heart failure two weeks later on the morning for the 19th of April 1992, aged 75. Two hours before he died, he was speaking on the telephone to his TV producer about new ideas for his next show. Howard died the day before fellow comedian Benny Hill. News of the two deaths broke almost simultaneously and some newspapers ran an obituary of Howard in which Hill was quoted as regretting Howard's death, saying, we were great friends. The quote was released by Hill's unofficial press agent and friend who was not aware Hill had died. So there's all the information there on Frankie Howard. What a great guy he was. What a funny, funny man. And the heavens have opened on us. Just for a change. Anyway, we'll, um, we're going to have a look again. I don't know why I use these electronic gimbally things because they don't ever work properly for me. I might just go back to an old manual one. Go old school, shall I? Well, we're going to have a look, shall we? We're going to see if we can find Frankie's grave. Um, now, this is the new part of the churchyard. And I believe, I say new, it's not that new, but it's newer than the original old school and I believe he's in here somewhere so we're going to have a look shall we I think I found it let's go and have a look So the wall's obviously falling down there. Probably Frankie getting up to mischief. In loving memory of my brother Francis, Alec Howard, OBE, known as Frankie Howard. Died the 19th of April, 1992, aged 75 years. What we keep in memory is ours, unchanged forever. So there we have the final resting place of Frankie Howard. Um, brought many, many laughs to many, many people over the years. So thank you, Frankie, um, for all the comedy that you brought to people. I'm sure there'll be lots of fans out there uh, watching this who will be um, grateful of the, the laughs you brought them over the years. And you know, to to star in carry-on films as well. I think, uh, look at that, we've got a lovely bit of sunshine coming down on the rain. Well done, Frankie, thank you. Um, yeah, to star in the carry-on films as well. It's always a delight, isn't it, for us older people. Um, I say that because it's mainly us older people that remember the carry-on films these days, isn't it? Smile, please. Smile? Or what with? Ah! Frankie Howard. Come now, Mr. Bigger. We don't want to lie in our nice, comfortable bed with our nasty old pants on, do we now? Madam, what you do in your bed is your own affair. Um, you know, we enjoy them, we, we laugh at them, and Up Pompeii as well was brilliant. Um, and uh, I never saw him live, but I know some people went to see him in concert. Well, I say concert, you know what I mean, doing a, a tour of his comedy act. And they said he was really good, really good interaction with the audience as well, which is fantastic. That's what you want, isn't it? You want people to interact with you. Anyone here believe in the spirits? Yes. Anyone not here believe in the spirits? <laughs> I am an acknowledged authority on sex. I mean, the, the women don't know about it, but the authorities do. <laughs> naughty, naughty. And uh, have a laugh, and that's what it's all about. And I think that's what he did, you know. And, um... What a beautiful little place though, look. There is scenery. I can just see hills and stuff. Can't quite see Julie Andrews running up them yet, but uh, 
I'm sure she will do one day. Anyway, I don't think we can poke our head in here. We'll have a little look. This is cool. I love old buildings like this. Amazing. Stairs. Yeah, it looks like it. But it probably only goes up as high as the owl there. Cool though. Love things like that. <laughs> Love little hidey holes. Anyway, I think that's enough of me in church for one day <laughs> before I get disbanded somewhere. But what a beautiful little place, St. Gregory's. Beautiful churchyard. Beautiful church, lovely place. That's a big door. That's the sort of door I'd like on my castle. I'm in house. <laughs> Close up. It's always important if you go in these places to have a look around. And then make sure you. You close up afterwards, won't you? Well, leave your comments down below. Let me know your favourite things about Frankie Howard, won't you? Whether it's um, you know the shows he did, the TV shows he did, or whether it's his comedy routine, or just his persona and his sense of humour and all that sort of stuff. And uh, yeah, leave your comments down below. One of them if you like it as well. And I will see you all on the next one. Take it easy.